virus pandemic, getting a COVID test that would have been almost impossible weeks ago is now so easy. Some sites are practically empty. Quite a contrast after weeks of long lines and frustration. The good news is that test sites are less crowded as the number of new cases continues to drop in Massachusetts. Julie McDonald is live in Randolph where, Julie, I know there weren't any long, slow lines for testing tonight. Yeah, Lisa, what a difference a week or two makes. The last person to be tested here at the Randolph site tonight sailed in and out of an empty parking lot with time to spare before the site closed. It's just a night and day difference compared to the enormous demand at sites all across the state only weeks ago. Smooth sailing at COVID testing sites in and around Boston Wednesday evening at the Anna Cole Community Center in Jamaica Plain. It was less than three weeks ago that the heated tents went up, an effort to shield up to 1,000 people throughout the day from the cold. Now it couldn't be quicker. In and out, not even three minutes. It's about as quick as you could possibly think. You got no line, you're in and out fast. Nice and quiet over at the Brucey Bowling Building as well. The Roxbury location is one of three newly opened sites, clearly making a difference. But really refreshing change from earlier. This JP neighbor stood in the cold 90 minutes for a previous test. This one, a breeze, thanks to expanded service and agencies working together. The folks that are working here are doing an amazing job. It makes it easier to do, so I hope it encourages more people to get testing if they need testing. Better to have this accessible. Um, and available to Boston residents. And back here in Randolph, one of the people working here tonight told me they're still seeing about 400, uh, you know, doing about 400 tests a day here, but that's only about a third of what they were doing, a record 1,500 just a few weeks ago. Live in Randolph tonight, Julie McDonald, WBZ News. That is a welcome change. Julie, thank you. The first